Welcome to Virtualize Everything. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to install Jellyfin on your Proxmox container. That's right, we'll be installing Jellyfin in an LXC container on Proxmox. This process is pretty straightforward and simple. So the first thing we're going to do after we browse to the jellyfin.org website is to click on documentation. At documentation, we're gonna click on installation and then we're gonna click on Linux. This will give us a list of the Jellyfin documentation for installing Jellyfin. As you can see, I'm scrolling down and I'm gonna find Debian and Ubuntu's and they have an automatic installation script. So let's take a look at what's required to use this automatic installation script inside an LXC container on Proxmox. The first thing we're going to need to do is head over to our Proxmox web interface and we're going to need to make sure that we have the template for Ubuntu. So let's click on local and then we'll go to CT templates and you can see that I have the 22.04 template right here. 22.04 is the latest long-term release support of Ubuntu. If I didn't have it here, I'd click templates, I'd click here in search, and I'd start typing Ubuntu. Then I'd choose the 22.04 and press download. Obviously I already have it, so I won't be downloading it. With that, we're gonna click create CT and give it a name. I'm calling mine Jellyfin today, and we'll enter a password for both the confirm and the password fields. Then I'm gonna hit next, and I'm gonna choose my template. My system already pre-selects local. If your templates aren't stored in local, you'll have to change that for your system. Under templates, we're choosing the 22.04 we previously downloaded, then we hit next. For our disk size, it defaults to eight. I would suggest adding more storage. Myself today, I'll be adding 100 gigs. This is entirely up to you and what you think your demands for your media server will require. Now I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna give it two CPU cores and two gigs of RAM. Two gigs in megabytes is 2048. Then I'm gonna hit next. I would highly suggest that you fill in a static IP address. If you were using a static IP address, it would look something like, and then you notice the box stays red. That's because you need to add your CIDR mask to it. And in most cases, for a 192.168.something.0 to .254 network, which is basically your standard Class C network, it's going to be slash 24. This may differ if you have a different network, and I hope at that point that you don't need me to explain CITR notation for you. If you do, drop a comment, and I'll help you out. For your gateway, you're going to do the same thing, but today, I'm going to use DHCP for my network as it's just a little bit easier. You also may have to configure your bridge if you have multiple bridges set up on your Proxmox server as I do. If you don't, the default of zero will be fine for you. Now I'm gonna press next. DNS will stay the same as my host in most cases. Next, we can look through our settings, make sure everything's okay, and press finish. Proxmox will now build your container for you. Now that we have task complete, we're good to close this screen and continue on with the process. We're gonna select our new Jellyfin server. In my case, it was called 107. We don't need to remember the name for this project, but it's good to identify it by. <clears throat> then we're gonna press start and we're gonna open our console. Now that we're inside our console, we're going to log in with root <clears throat> and the password we set up when we created the container. The first command we're gonna issue is a command that will update our repositories and install any out of date packages. We will string them together with an ampersand. apt update and and apt upgrade dash y. All right, so now that all 135 updates have been applied and installed to our <clears throat> Ubuntu container, we're good to start trying to install JellyFed. First thing we're gonna need to do is install some dependency software so we can execute the script. And we're gonna do that with apt install curl. And we'll add that dash y to the end. Now we're going to copy and paste the script that was provided to us from Jellyfin for the automatic installation. What this script does is it reaches out to a repository that Jellyfin owns and it downloads an SH script 
and then it executes it using bash. I'm going to press enter. Jellyfin tells us some information about our container and asks us to verify it. Yes, we're on an AMD64 system. We're using Jimmy and we're using Ubuntu. Press enter and the installation process takes a few minutes. All right, so Jellyfin's finished installing and it's giving us a little bit of information about how we can access their web interface, which is going to be on port 8096, and they want us to use HTTP. But if we were to copy what they've given us right here, and then paste it into our web browser, like so, and try to run it, we're actually going to get a search, because it's an invalid address. So what we need to actually do to find out how to interact with our Jellyfin web server is to identify our IP address. Now, if you set it up static, like I suggested earlier in the video, you're all set, you know it, and you can skip ahead a few minutes and I'll show you what to do with it. If not, and you set it up with DHCP like me, you're gonna enter IPA and it's gonna tell you the IP address of our container. Now, we're gonna copy the IP address of our container and we're gonna head over to our web browser again. Now, this time in our web browser, we're going to start by typing HTTP and notice we're leaving off the S and then we're going to give it that IP address that we identified either through the static in that you set up with your Proxmox server or using the IPA command. Then we're going to add a colon and we're going to add that 80. 96 to the end, press enter, and we're into our Jellyfin container. We're going to use English, so I'll press next. Then it's going to ask you for a username and a password, and we'll press next. We don't need to add a media library. You may want to. I won't be. As I said, this is a demo on how to get Jellyfin up and running and not using Jellyfin, so I'll be pressing next. My language is English, and my country is United States, so I'll press Next. I'm going to allow remote connections to this server, so I'm going to hit Next, and I'm going to hit Finish. Now it asks us to log in, and here we are logged in to Jellyfin. We go to Home, we go to Dashboard, you can see that everything is set up and running, and we can begin using Jellyfin. Now I'm going to leave you off at this point in the tutorial because we've successfully got Jellyfin installed inside of a Proxmox LXC. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, found it useful, and you're now able to start enjoying Jellyfin. As always, have a good night.